friends today let's talk about the most famous street food of india and almost everyone's favorite pav bhaji it's originated from mumbai but now it's famous almost all over the world it's loaded with the benefits and the flavors from different veggies boiled together with the nice addition of butter to make it delicious it's awesome combination with fresh pav is really mouth watering so let's try it out this is nidhi and welcome back to my channel so my today's yummy recipe is pav bhaji in my style so friends before starting with the recipe i would like to request you all to please watch my full video and in case if you like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also do press the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of all my further videos for detailed written recipe and ingredients with their measurements please visit the description box below so friends quickly moving on to my kitchen So friends before actually moving on to cooking our bhaji let's have a look at veggies which i have taken so here i have used cauliflower florets peeled and chopped carrots peeled and chopped raw potatoes green chilies some chopped cabbage which is optional peeled and chopped beet roots which is again optional but if you will add it it will give very nice color to your bhaji which we actually see in the market you can even include green peas here So friends I will keep telling you about the other ingredients as we will move on further in my video. So moving on to the cooking process the first step will be boiling of all the veggies. So you need to transfer all the veggies to a pressure cooker and then add ginger and garlic paste. You can even add ginger and garlic paste during the tadka if you don't want to add it here. Then you have to add salt as per your taste or as per the quantity of the veggies and of course you have to add enough water so that the veggies may be boiled well. So friends just give a nice mix and then cover the lid so you need to cook the veggies over medium flame for around 3 to 4 whistles and then allow the pressure cooker to cool down. So after 3 to 4 whistles are done and the pressure cooker is cooled down now our veggies are boiled well. So just strain them using the strainer and do collect the water which is left over in the cooker. We will use the same water for our bhaji preparation to adjust the consistency. So friends with the same process I am boiling the beet roots along with some more carrots you can always boil them along with the other veggies but my pressure cooker size was very small so I am boiling them separately so here I just added them to my pressure cooker then I added a bit salt and then enough water so that these may be boiled perfectly and then I pressure cook them for 3 to 4 whistles over the medium flame So once the pressure cooker is cooled down just strain out the veggies and collect the water. So I will mix this water with the water which we have collected earlier. So once all the veggies are cooled down a bit then we will move on to our next part that is mashing them. So you need to transfer the boiled veggies to a white plate or any parath. and then start mashing them using the manual masher so friends you don't have to skip this step because we don't want bigger chunks of these veggies in our bhaji we want to make our bhaji in a very smooth texture So friends as you can see here our veggies are well mashed. So friends before actually moving on to our tadka let's have a look at our other ingredients which will include chopped tomatoes, chopped green capsicum, the pav bhaji masala of any brand, kashmiri red chili powder, butter, some oil, jeera or cumin seeds, roasted kasuri methi and of course a bit more salt. So now let's move on to our next part that is bhaji preparation or tadka. 
For that, add enough butter in white pan or kadhai. Normally, in bhaji preparation, we add butter at different stages in small quantities for awesome flavor and taste. So initially, I am adding around one tablespoon of butter plus a bit of oil, which will prevent the butter from burning. Then allow them to be heated well. Then add jeera and allow it to crackle. So friends, as soon as the jeera starts crackling, reduce the flame to low and immediately add around one tablespoon of pav bhaji masala and two to three teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Adding Kashmiri red chilli powder will not make your bhaji hot, but it will give very nice red color to our bhaji. Then add a little bit water so that the spices may not burn and allow the spices to cook for few seconds. So friends, do remember to keep the flame low while roasting your spices, otherwise the chances of burning will be there. So friends, once the spices are well roasted for few seconds, now it's the time to add chopped green capsicum and chopped tomatoes. Just mix them well. Then add a bit salt as per the quantity of capsicum and tomatoes and mix it well. So friends, at this point of time, I am also adding a bit water which we have collected from the boiled veggies to ensure the proper cooking of capsicum and tomatoes. So just cover and cook the capsicum and tomatoes for 2-3 to three minutes over low to medium flame. In between, you can mix them once and you need to cook the capsicum and tomatoes till these are soft and the water is absorbed. So friends, after cooking the capsicum and tomatoes for 2-3 to three minutes, now you can see the veggies are soft and the water is also reduced. So friends, at this point of time, just make it sure that your flame should be at low and start mashing the veggies using the masher. So friends, as you can see here that after mashing them for 2-3 to three minutes, now these are mashed well. So at this point of time, you can add a bit roasted and crushed kasuri methi which will enhance the flavor of your pav bhaji. Just mix it very well. So friends, now it's the time to add our boiled and mashed veggies which we pressure cooked earlier. So just transfer the veggies to this masala and mix it very well. So friends, as you can see here, our boiled and mashed veggies are mixed well in the masala. So now add a bit water which we have collected from the veggies and add a bit more salt and just mix everything very well. And then cover and cook it for around 5 to 6 minutes over low to medium flame. So friends, after 5 to 6 minutes of cooking the bhaji over low flame, now just give a very nice mix and again cover and cook it for 2-3 more minutes. So friends, after cooking the bhaji for 2-3 more minutes, now you can taste it a bit and if you want it to be more spicy, just add a bit more pav bhaji masala. 
Also do add 2 to 3 teaspoon of fresh lime juice which will give very nice flavor to your bhaji. Friends, you can even add a bit more of Kashmiri red chilli powder and some more butter but both these things are optional. If you want your bhaji to be more red and more tasty then do add these two things and also at this point of time add chopped fresh green coriander leaves. Then mix everything together very well. So friends, as you can see here, our bhaji is towards thick consistency at this point of time. So I am adding a bit more water and again you have to cover and cook for 2-3 more minutes till nice boil starts coming. So after cooking it for few more minutes, now you can see that it's almost ready. So at this point of time, you can add a bit more butter, but this is totally optional. So just switch off the flame and allow the bhaji to rest for 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes of rest, now let's check our bhaji. It's looking so yummy, delicious, buttery and you can see the nice red color and the awesome smooth texture. Hardly anybody can resist themselves from eating it. It's really mouth watering. Isn't it looking similar to what we get in the market from the street side vendors? It's really amazing. So friends, why to wait? Just serve it with buttery and roasted fresh pav from the bakery, some chopped onions and tomatoes, some pickle and of course the fresh lime slices. So friends, I am sure you all must have liked my recipe and will definitely try to make it. So do share your feedback and experience in my comment section below and also let me know which other recipes you want me to post. So see you soon in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching.